G'day, welcome to Down in the Woodworks. In today's video, we're gonna build a couple of light boxes to backlight some posters. The light boxes were gonna be painted so I could reuse this old pine I had, which I ripped down to final width, and then cross cut the sides of the boxes to rough length. Next I cut a 45 degree bevel on one end of each board and then using a stop block on my sled I cut the second bevel at the other end of each piece. The posters were going to be sandwiched between two layers of 3mm perspex so I needed to cut a groove about 6.5mm wide towards the front edge on each of the pieces. I did this by making a couple of passes over the blade on the table saw. Next I cut a rebate towards the back edge of each piece using the same method and this was to house the backing board which was 6mm MDF. The inside of the boxes was painted gloss white to help reflect more light through the posters. I knew these light boxes were going to be subjected to some abuse from regular use and being transported around in the car. So I wanted to make them really strong. I decided to dowel each of the mitre joints with six mil dowels. Two on one face towards the outside and one on the adjoining face in the center. I drilled the dowel holes in the face of each board only at first and then once they were glued up, I used those holes as a guide to drill into the end grain of each joint. I glued the boxes up in two stages. First the two sides and top were glued and kept square with these gluing squares. The reason I did this was that the bottom of each box was going to be two pieces to allow for the perspex to be installed and removed. One of the bottom pieces was glued in place and the other piece would be screwed in place so it was removable. Here you can see me extending those dowel holes after the mitres had been glued and set. Next it was time to cut the perspex to size. This was the first time I'd cut perspex on the table saw so I was a bit nervous. But there was no need to be, it was all good. I then trimmed the posters to size, placed them between the two layers and slid them into the boxes for the first time. Perfect fit. These are the LED lights that my friend supplied for this build and they had this stand on them which I removed. However, in the base of the stand was a strong magnet, which I repurposed as a latch for an access door that he wanted in the backing board. I wanted to use the section of MDF I cut out of the backing board as the access door, so I needed all the cuts to be straight, including the edge that would be at the hinge. All I had to do this with was a sharp knife, which worked out much better and easier than I thought it would. The backing boards were glued and nailed in place for extra strength and durability.
For the door latches, I epoxied the magnets into the frame of the light box and a washer onto the inside of the door. I put a small round over on all the edges of the boxes and gave them a good sand to remove the old clear finish and flush down the dowels. Then the access doors were fitted with a couple of small hinges. Once the hinges were fitted, the 532 screws I used were cut off flush with the nuts on the inside. Then it was time for a coat of black paint. To mount the lights, I had to come up with a non-permanent fixing because the battery compartment cover would need to be accessed. So I used these stick-on Velcro hanging strips. I added a handle to the top of each box as requested and it was time to put them together and install the removable part of the base. I added a small pull cord for the access doors and the light boxes were done. Well that's it for this build. Uh, the light boxes they turned out pretty cool actually, I'm happy with them. There were a couple of little uh, niggly issues that I had to solve and uh, I think I did that okay so yeah, really happy with how they um, turned out. For anyone who doesn't know, this symbol here is um, the symbol of the meditation chant Om. The friend of mine who asked me to build these light boxes for him, he teaches yoga and meditation. And the idea is to um, have these in a darkened room, backlit while the, um, while the class is doing their meditation. And if you watch through to the end of the video, to the closing scene, you'll see how they look uh, backlit in the dark. Anyway, if it's your first time here to the channel, a big welcome. And if not, as always, thank you for all your support. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel just to show your support and also so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. It does help and also pass it around to your friends. But in the meantime, you guys all have a very relaxed and chilled out day.